Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This video, it's about making something. So I, it's not gonna be a tutorial per se, it's gonna be very similar to the video that I did about my intro, which you can take a look at here. I've gotten myself a 3D printer, a resin printer by Anycubic, and I thought about making something myself. Why not make a model myself so I can actually screw it up? In any case, I was thinking about what to do because I wanna make something that has some sort of satisfaction value to it. It doesn't have to be very complicated, because I don't know, I, I, I've I've made this this statuette and it's like okay, it's it's a, no, it's a fucking statue. What the fuck do you want? And then I, I was wrecking my brain with what to do. And today, when I was prepping another tutorial, it finally struck me. Incidentally, I made a shimitar shape and I thought to myself oh that would be kind of cool I could make a bronze shimitar with a like small scene around now if you don't know where I'm going with this you've obviously never played RuneScape <laughs> so <coughs> if you haven't played RuneScape first of all you missed out on a huge opportunity in your life that's the first thing the other one is you've never heard of bronze shimitars bronze shimitars were the shit back in the, the early 2000s or whenever the, the, the game came out. I remember because I was too stupid to figure out the stock market, I would just go on Karamja, which was an island where you could collect bananas. I would just fill my inventory and then sell it and then do that again for like, what, four hours per day? But I could buy myself a bronze shimitar. Or actually in the end, I would actually fabricated for myself in any case this, this this is not the point the point is bronze shimitar i thought to myself okay i'm gonna make a bronze shimitar and i'm gonna make a small desert scene that i can put the bronze shimitar into a nook in a rock that i'm gonna carve out because i'm obsessed with miniature type of worlds right now i don't know why what we're gonna do today i'm gonna model this thing so i'm gonna model the shimitar a small scene i'm gonna then try and adapt it to 3d printing i'm gonna actually 3d print it out and then I'm going to also post process it, try and make it like color it and everything because, okay, I'm not the greatest at this sort of stuff, okay? I'm slowly getting my bearings and I think it would be a really cool project to have. In any case, let's get to the modeling part. <laughs> Okay, a lot of the things you can just do with a simple deform. You just make sure that you're like Shift S cursor selected and then the origin 2D, 3D cursor. So you, you just the end of the of the fucking twists or whatever. Okay, so yeah, this is the stuff. Yeah, really want that chunky vibe to come through. So yeah, apparently this is not going to work or rather it's not working because I am moron. So I should pull these vertices more down and now it, 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 it's just that it doesn't look right maybe i should pull it pull it up so i need to make this whole thing a bit chunkier kind of okay an interesting shape so next i have to make it corpulent if that's if that's a word i need to i need to keep in mind that this is going to be 3d printing so i also have to apply all of these sub modifiers so i don't want to really go too overboard with this yeah the hilt the hilt is gonna be yeah the hilt the hilt is gonna be now i have the the, the freaking island shanty or whatever stuck in my stuck in my head i don't know if i should do a one a one per one or i should just make it a bit more I'm just gonna make it a bit more of my own and that's it. No, oh, it's kind of an interesting shape. It's like um it's like a pirate, you know, swashbuckling. Sw swash? 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 I don't know, I kinda like it like that. <laughs> it's like to, to be completely honest. Let me increase the girth of the shimitar. Okay, let me take out the bevel and see what happens. Circle or no circle on the hilt. Kinda like the cutoff thing, to be completely honest with you. I don't know why, it just it just appeals to me. It gives it a bit more, you know, gusto. I think I'm done with the shimitar. Can it be? Oh my God. I'm actually done with something relatively quickly. Maybe I could give him like this, set. nah, this, that. That's, that's a, just a bit too much. Object number one, done. Kalimari, Kalimari desert. No, Kalimari is one uh, oh, Mario Kart. So runescape, uh, rune. Okay, runescape desert. Caridian Desert. Yeah, this is my jam, dude. Oh, this is bringing so many memories. Okay, so let's start. Let's start throwing the. Let, let, let's open ourselves to ideas. What do I want? I want rocks. I want grass. I want desert. I want little bitty rocks that create the the, the effect of that. What else do I want? What else? Okay, so this is. I think this is a good. Even though it's. Good. <laughs> 
<laughs> looking at it now it's kind of crappy but fine looking at it i think it's a good starting point desert plateau i don't remember this and i can see that there's an enemy that i don't recognize so i definitely was never here but this this is this is actually kind of cool so let me nick that i can use the rock structures i can possibly use the palm tree because it is an oasis this this bush i have to make that bush definitely for sure maybe a skeleton <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Desert boys. Where are my desert boys? What if we do... Like, I want one part to be a wall. The shimmy has to be either in a in a rock or in a skull, maybe. Not in a wall. So, if I can use... I can use the wall only for decoration or just for positioning. And then I can use the rocks to sort of create that, you know, feeling. I'm kind of doubting myself in terms of the shimitar because maybe I should leave the shimitar without the subdivisions, possibly. To make it like really, you know, really simplistic one. In any case, I'll have to do slow poly stuff and then I can kind of decide on it. So, what should we start with first? I think the rocks, because they are the most boring thing in the world to make. So, I think if we get that like out of our way immediately, it's gonna be good. No, that doesn't make any sense really, but okay. So they don't have as many tentacles as mine. I decrease the view. Okay, this is a bit better. Kind of looks like a low poly rock, I think. Fine. It's it's cute. Okay, so this probably is not going to be the way to go. Okay, so we'll have to do it another way. Okay, yay. I can see why I hate doing rocks. Okay, the other way. I have this idea of actually using it with this. So let me try, you know, so I can do like the this, the, the, the rocky outcrop kind of thing. Okay, hey boys, we got our first rock. Okay, so we have to do like four, five, five of these. After that, I'll see if I can do the palm tree. I'll need to do the wall, definitely. This is going to be my, my um, shrub. And then I can basically do the same thing here. Just boop, boop, boop. Put this motherfucker in a rock I'm thinking about like they needed to be really resourceful with this because there's a bunch of these assets and they needed to run on a browser which is you know congrats guys Trick sake you actually you know it's, uh, now i have this appreciation for it because i remember when i was playing it i okay i enjoyed the graphics but i also enjoyed it for let's say s s sort of the wrong reasons because it was one of the only games that would actually run on my computer I, I never had like really strong computers and it didn't matter maybe they were pcs laptops i mean desktops or laptops I, I never had like really really good computers and that's why runescape appealed to me it was an entertaining mmorpg oh for christ's sake which one has the modifier okay so apparently this is not going to be the way to do it so he's going to be a bit more uniform but at least i'm not going to lose my freaking time with this bullshit i do want to have this wall behind or somehow incorporate the wall i need to position stuff strategic strategically do it do it do it bicep here is really good cool, 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 cool. okay so it's not exactly as the brick in there should i do the altar but no because also stuff usually was just laying around in runescape like i think we're done with the scene i'm just gonna increase the hilt a bit and trying to think about like what could be an issue when printing it actually gives it an even girthier look but yeah i think this is it i think now i'm ready to basically export these yeah this was it this was the whole process essentially i was just applying all of the modifiers uh, i would then export everything uh, to the STL file and then use it in the Anycubic software to slice it up. I'm not very good at supports, I'm still getting my bearings, so I tried a couple of different options, export it, and then set it up for printing, which regrettably I lost the footage because it got corrupted. Okay, so it's almost 24 hours later. The print is done. I've printed basically all of those parts out. Wait, let me...
So here's the first one, the wall, the, the desert type of thing, the, the rocks actually came out pretty good. I also have these, wait, I also have these guys, bushes, the cacti. So first I should send down the shimitar and the, uh, the whole thing. Then I'm gonna prime them. And at the same time, I'm not, I'm not gonna send these guys, maybe just the bottom very slightly, but nothing too, too hard. I actually like the cactus. It's just a small little jelly bean. So send them, prime them, and then I can start coloring them, which is going to be really freaking fun. I can't wait to use some of the stuff that I have. In any case, yeah, it's sending time. Bought some stuff. Uh, so it would be this thing. Then I would have this guy. I thought I would end it with uh, this sponge type of thing, which I think it's kind of useful. So I actually do Oops, let me just put my mask because I don't want to have any of this resin stuff inside. I have no idea what I'm doing. How long does this process usually take? Like some people will say, okay, now it's time for the polishing process. And it's like, okay, this is gonna be four hours. And it's like, this can be four hours. Like I am getting some sort of effect here. So maybe, maybe I'm not as useless as I thought. The blade is kind of cool. Maybe I should do it like this like more DIY style. Hey guys, welcome. And today we are making a dead meme from 2004. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video. I think I'm done. I don't really know. I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> nice. There's so much of this resin dust that's going to get on the microphone and it's going to get on the phone. And it's just going to be a bitch to clean up. I think also a bit is going through the mask. We suffer in pursuit of art and science. Bit of a problem with my design because apparently the hole should be much, much, much bigger. Oh, something like that. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, I think yeah okay so I'm basically gonna I'm just gonna put these guys in a quick IPA and then I'm gonna prime them So yeah, you can see this collection of colors. I did a couple of like abstract uh, acrylic pores. I was really into them for a while and I still have a bunch of leftover paint. I'm not really good at mixing paint. I was mostly just trial and error and adding white and then adding different yellows, adding some uh, flow enhancer. Later, I actually found out that it was still too thick. It should have been much more liquid. So yeah, I was just mixing around stuff. I was waiting for the scene to dry up, then the bushes, then again the scene. So I was just alternating between different elements of the scene uh, to try and paint them all in a relatively quick time. The shimmy was the most difficult one because the, the paint wouldn't stick to it. So I had to do it a couple of times, but yeah, this was essentially the process. So we're finally here on the third day I finally managed to finish everything. I did some stuff off camera. Most of the process was just drawing and just uh, coloring after that. So it didn't make much sense to just go on with that. In the end, this is how it looks like. So uh, let's hope it's gonna focus. So the wall behind it turned out beautifully. The shimmy is gorgeous. I really like the, the rock and the sandy feel. I like the bushes and like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have like a close-up uh, vid of it because I'm definitely gonna post it to my socials and you can also take a look there. In any case, it was such a gratifying process to think that you can now come up with something in your head and then have it materialize before you, it's really interesting. I came into this process without much knowledge of post-processing, you know, how to print properly. I just bought a printer because I wanted to learn it. I started to uh, draw on things because I wanted to learn how to draw on things. I needed to dilute a lot more my colors. Uh, they were far too sticky. Uh, a sponge is apparently your best friend because sponges apparently perform really well. I colored most of it with uh, sponges after a while because it dis distributed the color uh, pretty well. I don't know. I just I am in love with it. It's not perfect. It's far from perfect, but it's something that's 
like made completely from your head, if you know what I mean. So come up with your idea, you print it, you post process it. It's it's so involved that it's really I don't know. I'm just I'm just over the moon at how the whole thing came came through. I hope you guys also liked this one. Uh, I will have this on like I said, on my socials, you know, sound off in the comments. Uh, let me know what else uh, I screwed up, uh, what could have been done better. I know that I could have been more patient with some stuff. I know that I should have been a bit more informed, but I learned a lot from this process. And yeah, just feel free to, to bash me in the comments. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment. You know, I always appreciate those. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.